Hi everyone, welcome to another video and for today's topic, we're going to discuss about measures of dispersion by sample grouped data. Let us start with the range. Now, unlike in the ungrouped data, all we need to do is just to subtract the highest value minus the lowest value and then we were able to identify the range. The range in solving for the range for the grouped data, let us try for example, the score of 40 students in a 60-point quiz. So we have here already this, uh, the frequency distribution, the scores, the class to scores, and also the frequency. Now, first thing we're going to identify is the class boundaries. Now, how are we going to identify the class boundaries? Focus on the scores, okay? So, all you need to do is to subtract 0.5 on the lowest score in each class and add 0.5 on the highest score in each class. So, for example, in here, 53 minus 0.5, that is 52.5. Then, 58, the highest, plus 0.5, that is 58.5. Next, we have here 47 to 52, the second class. So 47 minus 0.5, that is 46.5 rather. And 52, we have a plus 0.5, so 52.5. And the next class, 41 minus 0.5, that would be 40.5. Then 46 plus 0.5, that is 46.5. Next is the 35 to 40. So 35 minus 0.5. That is 34.5. Then 40 minus or plus 0.5. That is 40.5. So the same with the 29 to 34. My subtract 29 by 0.5. Then add 0.5 to 34. That why that's why we have 28.5 to 34.5 as the class boundary. Then the next one, the 17.20, 17 to 22. We have 16.5 to 22.5. Then next would be 10.5 to 16.5. Then the last um, row would be 4.5 minus 10.5. Again, subtract 0.5 on the lowest um, score on each class. Then plus 0.5 on the highest um, score in each class. Now, how are we going to identify the range? So, in identifying the range, just um, subtract or get the difference of the highest class boundaries minus the lowest class boundaries. So, in this example, we have the highest class boundary is 58.5 subtract it by the lowest class boundary which is 4.5 so 58.5 minus 4.5 we have 54 therefore the range of this um, grouped data we have 54 now let us proceed with the variance and standard deviation now how are we going to compute for the variance and standard deviation now we have here the given example again the scores and the frequency so first thing we're going to do is to get the summation or the total frequency so just add all the frequencies that we have in there so 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 10 plus 11 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 and the summation of the frequency or the total frequency which is the n is equal to 40. Now after identifying the summation of the frequency let us proceed of identifying the class mark. Now how are we going to get the class mark? Just add the class limit divided by 2. So for example in here we have 53 plus 58 divided by 2 is 55.5. Next 47 plus 52 divided by 2 is 49.5. Next, we have 41 plus 46 divided by 2, that is 43.5. Again, next, the same process, 35 divided by 4, or 35 plus 4 rather, divided by 2 is 37.5. Then 29 plus 34 divided by 2 is 31.5. 23 plus 28 divided by 2 is 25.5. 17 plus 22 divided by 2 is 19.5. 11 plus 16 divided by 2 is 
13.5 and 5 plus 10 divided by 2 is 7.5. So we have already uh, completed the class mark. So the class mark table is already done. Again, how are we going to identify that one? Just add the class limit then divided by 2. Next table we're going to complete is the fx or the f times the x. So just multiply the frequency and the class mark. So f times x. So 3 times 55.5 we have 166.5. Next column we have 4 times 49.5 we have 198. 1 times 43.5 we had 43.5. The next we have 2 times 37.5 we have 75. Next, 10 times 31.5 is 315. Then, 11 times 25.5 is 280.5. Then, 4 times 19.5, we have um, 78. Next, 3 times 13.5 is 40.5. 2 times 7.5 is 15. So, we have already there the fx. Again, just multiply the frequency and the class mark. Next thing we're going to do is to get the summation of fx. So, just add all the fx. So, 166.5 plus 198 plus 43.5 and so on until 15. So, if we're going to add them, we will get the summation of fx is 1,212. So, how or what is the use of this um, summation of fx? This is um, important in solving for the class or the mean, okay? The mean value. So, the formula we have, the mean is equal to the summation of f times x over n. And our summation of f times x is 1,212 divided by our n is 40. Therefore, our mean value is 30.5. Three. Okay, next table. So, we have already the mean value. Next table, what is the use of the mean value? We are going to use that one because the next table we're going to complete is the x minus the mean or the class mark minus the mean. Then we're going to square. So, in here in the first example, we have x which is um, 5.5 minus the mean which is 30.3 we have, okay, then square, we have 635.04. Next, we have um, x, which is 49.5 minus 30.3 squared, 368.64. Next, we have 43.5 minus 30.3 squared, we have 174.24. Next, 37.5 minus 30.3 is uh, squared. We have 51.84. Next, we have here um, 31.5 minus 30.3. We have then squared 1.44. Next, again, we have 25.5 minus 30.3 squared, 23.04. Next, 19.5 minus 30.3, then squared, 116.64. Then, 13.5 minus 30.3 squared, 282.24. Then, the last one, we have um, 7.5 minus 30.3 squared, 519.84 so we have already identified now the for the, the next column now next column what are we going to do next again uh, in solving for that one just subtract get the difference of the class mark and the mean then squared the next table we are going to use this one because we are going to multiply it by the frequency. So the one that we have computed, the x minus x quantity squared, multiply it by the frequency. So multiplying them, we have um, 3 
times 635.04 that is 1905.12 okay next multiply again the frequency which is 4 times 368.64 we have 1474.56 next 1 times 174.24 we have 174.24 again just multiply the frequency and the x minus x quantity squared so the same thing we're going to do with the next one we are just going to multiply 2 times 51.84 we have 103.68 then 10 times 1.44 is 14.4 then 11 times 23.04 is 253.44 then 4 times 116.64 we have 466.56 3 times 282.24 is 846.72 then 2 times 1000 oh, 2 times 519.84 is 1039.68 okay so we have already it's quite a uh, long right so after this one we are going to get the summation okay the summation of the f times x minus x or x minus x bar quantity squared so we have here the summation we will get 6278.4 now all of these details we are going to use this one in solving now for the variance and the standard deviation so we are now ready to solve so again the so uh, the, the, the the formula for the variance we have s squared is equal to the summation of f times x minus mean quantity squared over n minus 1 okay so just um, substitute the given values so we have here that is equal to or the variance is equal to the summation the numerator we have 6278.4 and then n minus 1 n is 40 minus 1 that is 39 so 6278.4 divided by 39 therefore our variance is 160.98 so we have already um, computed the variance so the value of the variance is 160.98 now we have already have our variance so we are now ready to solve for the standard deviation again standard deviation is just the square root of the variance so the variance is 160.98 then we're going to get the square root so 160.98 the square root of 160.98 we have 12.69 so therefore our standard deviation is 12.69 and that is how we are going to solve for the standard deviation of the given grouped data.